Keep an eye out, number 44, Cade Cowell, the youngster, matching up alongside the veteran, or against the veteran, Graham Zeus. Familiar 4-3-3 for Peter Vermees. Remy Voltaire getting his 50th consecutive regular season start. Third of most matches in MLS history in charge and still looking for his first win of 2023 as we're underway from PayPal Park, Sporting Kansas City, away at San Jose Earthquakes. And now Montedo. Ewell, in a good pocket of space, will have a hit. And that's right, it's Amelia on a straightforward save. And here he's back on the ball. Montedo in a good pocket of space on that left and just about keeping it in play. Cowell. Clipped into the air, in towards Ebola, she in towards Espinosa! Who continues his red hot start to 2023. Five goals in eight, and San Jose are off and running. Inside to outside run in the movement of Jamiro Montero. He uses the entire width of this field. You can see him getting his head up. That early run by Cade Cowell. And Cade Cowell with the composure to cut this back onto his more favored right foot. And then Jeremy Abobasi making this run toward the near post. Certainly attracting the likes of Castellanos. And then Christian Espinosa hovering at the far post. Takes the awkward bounce, but he's just simple, clean. Goes with the broad side of his foot. Simple finish and an easy goal by number 10. But in looking at this game, it's nice to get that goal and kind of just get focused back on soccer and to do it against a team like Kansas City struggling for a goal. And Cowell getting the better, Rosero attempting to find Ewell. Now Gresso, he having a go from long range. Similarly, easy save to the strike from Ewell earlier. San Jose right back standing his ground there. And now Espinosa, the lovely bit of skill to get beyond Volodaire. Both teams really need to find a way to consistently involve their center strikers. I'll be interested to see if those strikers tend to, to drift more towards the midfield. If and they're he was he trying to catch Mealy out, and he just put it over. That would have been a stunner. And I'm just doing well to play it down that left, but Grueso able to recover. And Zussi stepping ahead of Montero and having a go. It took a deflection of Marcin Kalski adjusting well to tip over his own bar. Again, Sporting Kansas City taking advantage of a poor giveaway by the Earthquakes. And Graham Zussi just has a go. Yeah, you're an outside back, but you used to be an attacker. And you see <laughs> that right here. Gets a hold of this one. Gets it on, on frame, forcing JT Marcin Kalski to come up with a touch of that. It was perfectly timed and... Cowell long up towards Ibobisi who might be onside himself. His first touch trying to steady himself, trying to get turned. He's pulled there by Castellanos. Penalty! Jeremy Ibobisi timing his run to perfection and it's a red card as well for Castellanos. First of all, take a look. Is this onside? Yes, he looks to be. Good ball by Kate Cowell. And how about that first touch? And then right here, you see that right arm. You see that left arm. Yes, no question pulled down inside the box. And again, because he is the last defender. Well, and also because he makes no attempt to play the ball. Denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. And so being examined by VAR. As straight away. And despite Espinosa converting two penalties in the game against Houston, Ibobasi will have his chance. Against Melia. Here's Jeremy Ibobasi, keeper the wrong way. And now a real mountain to climb for winless sport in Kansas City. Down a man and down two goals to San Jose. Had steps up calmly, coolly and puts this one away. You can see the emotion. You can see how pumped he is to put his team up two goals to zero in this first half. That's an easy finish as Tim Melia goes to his right. But Sporting Kansas City, a team that has struggled early on in this season. For Kansas City, bring on Andrew Fontas. And now they've made another change as Willie Agata has come on to lead this 4-4-1 shape 
for Kansas City. We'll get full confirmation of the sub in just a moment. Ewell. And Marie. A lot of running, a lot of hard work for this Kansas City side as Cowell dinks it in behind for Marie with a nice ball. Marie's pulled back for rebound to see who gets his brace. On a big night for Jeremy Bobasi. Great movement by the Earthquakes. Tacking up this flank. Oh, well on side there. Yeah, no question. And then how about Jeremy Abobazi, who just pulled his run away, completely unmarked. This is when you're working smart. You see his change of direction right there? He's driving towards that penalty spot and then cuts to the near post. You can see Paul Murray taking a peek up, looking where that passing channel is, and Jeremy Abobazi doing what he does so well. Ever steady, ever present. In that midfield drop, 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 drop. for sporting. And now Ibobisi can get turned and sees Cowell running into space and he provides the ball. Cowell's first time strike is saved by Mealy at his near post. But Cowell trusting the left. Good job by Jeremy Ibobisi to peel off from that back line, find the gap and have the presence of mind to be able to turn and play Cade Cowell in. Tim Melia does well to get down quickly to react to that one. A tough angle to score from. Both the Ghanaian and the Brazilian doing the work, but Rodriguez's ball up to the wide position is presented it to Russell inside of Murray. Russell to go all the way, and he's hit the woodwork. Did Marcin Kowski get something on it? He did. That is an enormous save. Here's that earlier effort from Russell. It seems as if by one goal of goal difference. Which they could potentially find for the end of the night, but there is the full-time whistle. San Jose taking advantage of winless and 10-man sporting Kansas City.